Grammar Goodies. My name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar, where today we're going to be talking about copulative conjunctions. What are they? Stick around to find out. But before we get started, let's go ahead and do a brrr, bah, basket breaker. Uh -oh. For this week's basket breaker, the question is, who adds positivity to your life? Who makes you go, oh, life is so much better with the minute, huh? Take a second and put your answer into the comments. Grammar goodies, who did you put? I'll go ahead and give you my answer. My answer is Dino. Dino adds so much positivity to my life. Isn't that right, Dino? Would you be quiet over there? I'm trying to sleep. A loud mouth. Oh, oh. Anyway, I'm quite parched, so I think we should drink up some. Radioactive waste. G -g 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 -g. Three, two, one. All right, you might be asking yourself, hmm, what are copulative conjunctions? Well, let me go ahead and answer that for you. Copulative conjunctions, also known as additive conjunctions, are coordinating conjunctions that show that something has been added. In fact, the conjunction denotes that the second word, phrase, clause, or sentence conveys a fact that's linked to the first one. So they're ah, joined together. Here are a few copulative conjunctions. Some examples of copulative conjunctions are furthermore, also, and, and plus. See, I used and to add plus to this list. Oh, copulative conjunctions, they're everywhere. Woo! All right, now I'm going to talk about how we use copulative conjunctions with commas. Use a comma to separate a copulative conjunction if it does the following acts. For example, if a copulative conjunction starts a sentence as more of an adverbial, you actually want to put a comma directly after the copulative conjunction and then continue the rest of the thought. For example, we have this sentence. Furthermore, I stole the candy. As you can see, the copulative conjunction furthermore is adding extra information to the sentence. So it's building off of whatever came before. So we have furthermore, I stole the candy. And you'll notice that that comma comes directly after, after the copulative conjunction since it's more of an adverbial in a sense. Woo! Now it's your turn. Let's do a little practice. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and create an original sentence that starts with the copulative conjunction. You can use copulative conjunctions like furthermore, and, also, and plus. All of those are prime examples of words that show that something is being added. So, again, your mission is to write an original sentence that starts with the copulative conjunction. What should you do with that sentence? You should post it into the comment section when you're done. Remember, this is all practice. What are you waiting for? And get to it. Here's an example. Also, I crashed the car. Oh, I can't believe I wrecked my new car. 
That's what I get for eating ice cream while driving. <sighs> Perfect. I know your sentences are mm, magnificent. But let's go ahead and go over another rule when using copulative conjunctions and commas. Since copulative conjunctions are coordinating conjunctions, we can actually use them to join together two independent clauses to form a compound sentence. All we're going to do is put a comma before the copulative conjunction in the sentence. For example, we have this sentence. I need to talk to him. Plus, he has my gardening gloves. Here, we have two independent clauses joined together with a comma and the copulative conjunction plus to make a compound sentence. So that's how we use a comma and a copulative conjunction to join together two independent clauses. Hey, I need to talk to you. Give me my gardening gloves back. Why did you even take them? Because I will save the world. One plant at a time. I will regrow this barren wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time to practice. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and write an original sentence that uses a copulative conjunction in it. Keep in mind, I want this sentence to be a compound sentence. So put together two independent clauses with a comma and a copulative conjunction. Remember, some examples of copulative conjunctions are furthermore, also, and, plus, all of those help connect ideas together and show addition. For example, we have this. I can't wait for my birthday, and I'm going to have the biggest party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, and I'll dance, I'll dance, and I'll dance if I want. about some practice, right grammar goodies? Anyway, I'm still a little confused, so I think it's time that we ask for some employee assistance. Oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read various sentences. Each sentence will have a copulative conjunction in it. What you need to do is determine where to put the comma in each sentence. Then you could do that, place the comma into each sentence while keeping in mind where the copulative conjunction is. I know you can. So let's get it started. Question one. Plus, he doesn't even have a clue about the situation. Um, you know, I didn't hear all of that, but I'm just, uh, I'm guessing that Janice was abducted by aliens, right? Isn't that right? Topher, we were talking about cafeteria food. What are you talking about? Where do you put the comma in this sentence? Take a second. Think about it. grammar goodies? The correct answer is after plus. That's right. Since the copulative conjunction plus started the sentence, we're going to put the comma directly after it to offset it from the rest of the sentence. Great job. Let's move on. Question two. I need to go to the store and I need to purchase candles. <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? I need a candle. I hear the witches of the woods. Oh, no. Please help me. At least a match. Uh. Where do you put the comma in this sentence? Take a second.
how'd you get grammar goodies? Here's the answer. You're going to put the comma directly before and the copulative conjunction and. Why is that, Mr. Goody Grammar? Well, here you have two independent clauses being joined together with the copulative conjunction and. Since it isn't strong enough on its own to join them together, you need to put the comma before and in order to join the two independent clauses. Let's move on. Question three. Furthermore, I devoured all the pizza. Nom, 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 <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Where does the comma go in this sentence? Take a second. Think about it. Alrighty, why'd you get grammar goodies? Here's the answer. The correct answer is after the copulative conjunction, furthermore. Since furthermore starts a sentence, we're going to put that comma directly after it in order to offset it from the rest of the sentence. Great job! How'd you do? Hmm, I know you did great. So that's why I'm going to put you to the test by doing an aisle check. Puh, puh. week's out check, here's what you're going to do. Go ahead and create two original sentences that use copulative conjunctions in them. The copulative conjunctions can either start the sentence or combine two independent clauses together in a compound sentence. It's up to you, but I want you to write two. Think you could do that? I know you can. And get to it! time grammar goodies it's time for us to check out oh, check the time grammar goodies I have the jet anyway my name is mr. goody grammar thank you so much for dropping by general grammar and comma in anytime I'll see ya Whoa! Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay. I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> so, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa! Click on another video. Huh? <laughs>